Arisa lives in Thailand and is a member of the Hmong people. Even from the tender age of 15, Arisa has taken pride in what she was able to make with her own two hands. She could also sell her embroidery to help her family who live in poverty. She has three younger siblings to help raise. Her mother works in agriculture, the only industry available to their remote community, and believes that Arisa should leave school to work in the fields. These traditional beliefs are deeply ingrained, and older generations do not value female education. Dropping out of school would consign her to a life of poverty and limited options. And she was lonely and desperately wanted someone to care for her. Her phone connected her to the outside world and to everything that involves. Arisa sought affection and maybe a chance at a better life. Arisa believed that beauty was the pathway to connection and affection to ease painful feelings. She shared explicit photos of herself in the hopes of meeting someone who could fulfill her needs. She didn't realize people would take advantage of her. She didn't realize she was putting herself in danger. Arisa's wish for outside help was answered in a way she did not expect. The freedom story arrived in her community and, realizing her potential, as well as the risks she was taking, offered her a scholarship so that she could stay in school and develop her education. She no longer has to turn to social media for relationships. She has real people in her life who care for her, listen to her, and support her in doing what she loves. The Freedom Story Resource Center has enabled Arisa to acquire new skills and make new friends. Our organization also spreads awareness of the importance of education for girls through home visits and being active in the community. Arisa now dreams of becoming a nurse so she can help her family and others in her community. She feels happier and more fulfilled. This year, Freedom Story will help more vulnerable children like Arisa become self-reliant, reassert their rights, and rejuvenate their spirits. We hope that you can contribute to this journey 